What's up, everybody? Episode two, roll right into gear infection, and our guest is Nick from Equip It, which is funny because this whole segment is about equipment. So before we get into it, how do you like your chosen band name? How do I like it? Yeah, what do you think? Um, well, when I was 17, when I picked it, I was I was just surprised that it wasn't taken yet. So I was like, it's mine. Yeah. And how do I feel about it now? Uh, it's hard to Google. Ohio equipment, yeah. On Spotify, have you listened to the other equipment? There's, There's a song called like "Hold Me, Baby." Yeah, that's a know? that's a good one. It's uh, it it's R and B. I'm not sure what nationality is, but you definitely got like a like an uh, an accent. Mm -hmm. um, it's very fun to listen to. Have you ever thought about trying an accent to make your sound a little more palatable for people? Oh yeah, I have one on right now. Oh, I'm from Iceland. Oh, mm -hmm. so this is just your Midwest? Yeah, this is, a, a, is it accent. good? I mean... Yeah, it sounds good. You sound just like the kids I grew up with, so... Kids are idiots. Um, <laughs> uh, what gear do you usually use? Like, uh, pedals you like? Pedals? Um, I keep it pretty simple. Just like, uh, two different pedals for different, like, dirty channels, like distortion, overdrive. Uh, I'd like to throw some chorus on there occasionally. Um, not too heavy, just like some... to make, to make it sound a little, uh... More jovial. For the actual sound of the albums, like when I, um, I use a lot of synth on recordings, and I, I use a micro brute synth. It's an analog kind of deal, so it's like you can t shape exactly how you want it to sound. It gives it an edge that I think I, a lot more bands should adopt the synth. It's very, it's a very versatile instrument for sure. Have you ever used like a non-musical instrument in any recordings? A non-musical instrument, so like a torturous instrument in a recording. Mm -hmm. Um, I used an Iron Maiden once. Yeah. Yeah. And I tried to describe like a it. No, 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 no. It wasn't a sample of Iron Maiden. It was, it was the thing that kills you. Uh, oh, the thing that kills you. Yeah, you lay in it. Well, you just play Iron Maiden for about 8 to 12 minutes. That'll kill you. Yeah, you know, you're dead. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of gear, what grinds yours? You know, I used to be a pretty carefree guy until I started working retail. Some people, upper middle age, I'm gonna say upper middle class and middle age, so I just combine the two. Um, entitled. Just kidding. I don't know. This is stupid. <laughs> Do you think they should raise the minimum wage or? I'm not gonna make any statements because everyone will disagree with me. Disagree? Yeah, because I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm 19. I'm playing a band. That's enough authority for some people. Some people see you as like a kind of like a candidate for 2020, maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's a lot in the works for that. Uh, we'll see how this album goes, if it does decently well. Like, if it goes uh, platinum, I'll consider it. Mom, if you're watching this, I'm, I'm at home. That's doing homework. Maybe question from questions from Twitter? Yeah, here, I'll read one. Yeah, this one's from... At Enrique Iglesias. Hey, Nick. Who's your daddy? It's me. Hashtag Ask Equipment Highline. Oh, that was a nice compression. I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if I have it's any. live streaming, so that's oh, just okay. for the fans at home. Hello, Mr. Enrique. Thank you very much. All right, I think it's uh, time we we. Uh, I used to crack open a nice cold gear and get out of here. Ping pong song. Anything else you want to say, Nick? Before we uh, no, no, yeah, I figured. Same old Nick. Same old Nick.